Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. It is still Friday, October 4th, uh, 2019, and it is now up to a whopping 49 degrees here. So it's actually gone up a degree since the last time I did my earlier video. So anyway, let's talk about something. So I've had a lot of people say to me, first of all, how do you vacuum or how do you store your food? How do I store my food in the buckets and how long will it last, right? So I've had that a lot, a lot of conversations about that. And people have asked me those questions, right? So I, uh, you know, I have been doing storage for a long time, okay? So what I'm going to show you is a very interesting discovery today. Um, I have been working in the shop, and I'm going to show you something, and I think this was really, really interesting, okay? So first of all, I'm going, well, before we get into any more about the video, um, if you like what we're doing here, please like, comment, share, um, please subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon that you're getting notifications, and if you are already a subscriber, make sure that you're getting your notifications, because as we know, YouTube has been playing with lots of people. Okay, so what I started doing today, um, up here, I started putting like two by fours in this type of, uh, so you can see, yes, okay, so putting the two by fours up here, I'm going to store some stuff up on top that's my goal that's what i plan on doing right so i had um all of these buckets that you see here we're back in this corner and they've been there uh ever since we moved up here so we got up here uh well, we just started our fifth year full time up here in june so i had put those buckets in here and they'd been sitting here that whole time okay so, and I had them stacked four and five high is the way I had them. So you can see over in the corner over there, there's buckets back there too, okay? So what I decided was, I said, well, let me pull all these buckets out of here. Uh, I'm going to insulate this window and get that kind of squared away, right? So, and just make it more sealed up because you can see the air gaps and everything. So I just, that's just a board on the outside of that for right now. So... Definitely things need to be better. Okay, so pull all these buckets out. And I find two of these buckets, the lids, okay, let me show you that. There's that one lid. Um, that one's broken. And then this was the other lid, all right, completely broken. I'm like, oh, goodness. So let's see. Let's see here. So I'm going to set this down. I'm going to adjust this so you guys can see. All right. So here are my two two buckets, all right? Now, this bucket here, pinto beans, black beans, white sugar. I packed this up, and you guys can see that right on there, 6 5 of 09. So this bucket has been packed up for more than 10 years. And now, I don't use oxygen absorbers, okay, just so you guys know, but... Uh, I mean, I have some stuff packed up with oxygen absorbers and Mylar bags, but a lot of my stuff, when I just got started here, um, and a lot of stuff I still do, I just vacuum seal stuff, all right? So, I said, oh my God, this freaking lid is completely broken off. This was sitting in here, okay, completely broken off. I'm like, oh man, let's see how bad are things. How, how, what, how, what kind of shape are these things in, right? So... Uh, the first one I pulled out, you can see this bag, um, the seal, the vacuum seal, is it's been broken. But, nice soft sugar. You can still see that sugar's nice and soft. It's not like a brick hard or anything like that. All I have to do, and you can see, there, there's no, it's not been chewed on or nothing. Just that seal of the uh, the vacuum has, has been broken on that. But that sugar's perfectly fine. That's 10 years old, okay? Now, the next one... That's still completely vacuum sealed, okay? White sugar, completely vacuum sealed, absolutely fine. Then I got in here, let me pull this out of here, okay? Here are pinto beans. Now, completely vacuum sealed, completely fine. Ten years later, I could pull these out of here right now, cook these up and eat these, absolutely no issues whatsoever. Here's black beans, same exact thing. You can see... There's nothing, nothing in those. They are perfectly fine. I could pull those out again, cook them up right now, and eat them, and they would be fine. And then I have another thing of sugar in this one as well, which is also still sealed. 
Now what I'm going to do obviously with these, um, I'm going to transfer these into uh, one of my newer buckets that I got with the gamma lids on it so that it can be a screwed off lid. But I'll, you know, I'll transfer it. Now the worst thing is when I pack these up guys, um, I had a list, and I don't know where that list is anymore, of exactly what I had packed up in all of these um, yellow buckets. I have no weight on anything in here. I have no idea how much of these I have in here. Okay, so there was that first bucket, okay? Now the second bucket, this was packed up uh, two, looks like 221 of 11, okay? So we have uh, navy beans, iodized salt, uh, elbow macaronis in this one, all right? So here we are, guys. Now these buckets were compromised. You got to remember this too. These were not solid. They never. I mean, the seal was broken on these as far as the outside protection of the bucket. But the elbow macaronis, as you can see, completely still vacuum sealed. Absolutely no issues with that. There's another one. Completely, perfectly fine. Not an issue in the world with that. They're all still nice and vacuum sealed. And this is uh, this bucket's what eight years old. All right, here's navy beans, uh, two twenty one eleven. So you're talking about almost eight and a half years for these guys, okay? And then there's a nice block of iodized salt, okay? And uh, so again, these are all perfectly fine. The other and I got other navy beans in here as well that are still sealed up perfectly fine with absolutely no issues. Even though the buckets themselves, the lids were compromised, no bugs or nothing got into these, uh, into these, these, um, into this food. So, like I said, I will, t I will transfer these out into newer buckets. But that just goes to show you, okay? I packed that one up ten years ago, more than ten years ago, because it was ten years in June. Um, this was packed up more than eight years ago. So. And these buckets are perfectly fine. That food is fine. Um, there is no weevils. There's no bugs in any of that type of food at all. Okay. So I, I just think that that is freaking awesome. And like I said, and then I have all these other buckets. These ones are all still sealed. Uh, here's another one. 211 of 09. This has uh, rice and elbow macaronis in it. Now that lid is completely sealed. It has not been broken, not been compromised. So, um, obviously, if these ones with broken lids and compromised lids, and they're still fine, these ones are fine as well. So, you're talking about stuff I've packed up 10 plus years ago, and it's still good to go. And so that's awesome. Um, I'm really actually happy to see that. So when I saw these were broken, I was like, oh my goodness, how bad is this going to be? And it's not, not at all. They're still perfectly fine. So I think that that's really interesting. I wanted to share that with you guys because I think that it's important that people realize, because people will say to me, you know, well, you pack all this stuff up, you put all this food away, how long is it going to last? Well, that just goes to show you right there, guys. That stuff is, you know, eight and a half and ten years old and better than ten years old, and it's still fine. Um, no issues at all. It's what you're packing away, what you're putting away. You know, I just did the video the other day of what you should be prepping first, the first 19 foods that you should be prepping. And then, of course, I added on a couple things, so it made it 21. But, again, there you go. Your pastas. Pack them away, vacuum seal them, and they're going to be good to go. Your beans. Those were a lot of different types of beans. And I had navy beans, black beans, and pinto beans, okay? Again, all perfectly fine. Uh, sugar, again, perfectly fine. No, no issues with that sugar at all. And also salt. So that's what was in those two buckets. I got a ton of stuff, obviously, in, in other buckets like that as well. But, uh, you know, so let's, we're going to walk down here real quick. And I wanted to show you. So anyway, so that's what, uh, you know, those are, uh, they're still good. And that's why we do what we do. That's why we prep. You know, it's very, very important um, to be ready as much as you possibly can be. Can be. Now, I have some stuff that has Mylar bags um, with oxygen absorbers.
but those ones there did not. I vacuum sealed them, I put them in those buckets, and I packed them away. And again, they're perfectly fine. There's not any kind of issues at all with them. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a good feeling. It's good to know. So, now under here, again, these are the older buckets. And I'm going to pull one of these out so you guys can see. Okay, this, oh, well, the, now, okay, this one here, I guarantee you the flour's not any good. This has rice and flour in it, and that's from 09 as well, 131 of 09. I packed up a little bit of flour in the beginning before I realized um, that flour doesn't have a really good long shelf life. It is vacuum sealed, and it's in a sealed up bucket, so I don't know how well that's going to be. Um, here's, an, let's see, what do we got in this one? Uh, pinto beans, elbow ma macaroni, and instant um, mashed potato mix. Uh, 7 19 of 09. So, you know, and again, now these ones, obviously they're only stacked too high. And that's what I'm going to try to do with these buckets. I don't want to go as high as I was before. I had them as many as high five or five high. So that was, I think, was the issue. That's why those lids broke. Obviously, since then, you guys know. All my stuff is now in the white buckets, the food grade buckets, with the gamma lids. Gamma lids cost more money, as we all know. But now, say, so let's see when we pack this up. Uh, six, 16 of 17. So this is two years ago. All right, so hold on a second. All right, we'll, we'll take the lid off together. Just unscrewed it. All right, here we are, two years ago. Perfectly fine. There's the navy beans, okay? Uh, sealed up just fine, as you can see in there. Nothing is compromised, nothing has gotten, in, gotten into that bucket. So um, that's how I do it now. It's more expensive, but I like it better because I can take that lid off, I can get what I need, and then I can reseal it. With the other lids, once I take that lid off of these other buckets, that's it. I have to have another that type of lid. That lid won't reseal on there good if I take those off. That's why I like the gamma lids. Um, as you can see, I have a few buckets of food. So anyway, so um, and these were these were actually packed up this year. This is two fourteen of nineteen. Uh, that now these ones that you see right here, those ones all were uh, sealed with. Um, uh, mylar bags with oxygen absorbers sealed up like that but they're now also put in the buckets so that's what those are the other stuff is is uh, the vacuum sealed stuff but so that's how I do it and uh, you know I will do both I will vacuum seal it and I will use the gamma you know the um, not the gamma the lids but uh, the uh, the mylar bags so but anyway so I hope that helps guys I hope you see that yeah you can pack stuff away and leave it and not worry about it and it's going to be fine uh, so with those two lids being compromised and the stuff is still fine with the outer seal broken and, and compromised you know I like I said I wouldn't stack them more than too high I think that's that was the issue that I had because I like I said those buckets in there I had them stacked up as five high so um, obviously I won't be doing that again so I'm going to be moving them and everything's going to get moved around. But you can see those buckets, no mice are in there. Uh, they, no, no mice have chewed through the buckets. My cats are in and out of that shop all the time. So trust me, there's not an issue with that at all. Okay, so I am going to jump off of here. Um, I want to say a couple things real quick. Please join me tonight for my live stream. That's going to be at 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, by the time this video goes up, uh, I'll probably put this video up around 6 o'clock or so. And so you'll have a couple hours before the live stream. So please join me for the live stream tonight. I'm not sure what topic we're going to talk about yet. I got an idea, but I kind of want to save it for when we're ready to live stream. So I look for that tonight. And also, guys, um, like I said, Legacy is still doing a sale right now. Uh, I mentioned it in an earlier video, but I'm going to mention it again. The 183 Mega Sample Bucket is on sale from a normal pr price of 360 down to 228 right now. And that is while supplies last or 
till the 8th, whichever happens first. Because they, they've done it before where they've done those sales, and then like the 6th, they go, okay, sales over, we're out of stock. So if you want to take advantage of that, and if you want to add to your freeze-dried food storage, um, that's 183 meals for a little over a dollar a meal. Not a bad price at all for something that long-term food storage, again, good thing to have. You need to diversify what you have. So go to my website, preppernurse1.com. Take advantage of that if you would like to. Uh, so anyway, I am going to jump off here from t now. I will see you later on tonight. Uh, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So that's really important as well. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. Nobody else can stop you, okay? I hope everybody's having a great day. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.